Hey folks, Elsie here. Today we're going to go do something that I have wanted to do for such a long time. We are going camping in Point Reyes. But we're not just doing any camping, we're going kayak camping. Come on. a quick stop in Point Reyes Station to pick up some kayaks. Uh, we're here at Blue Waters Kayaks and we're gonna pick up, we're gonna rent kayaks here. We are at Chicken Ranch Beach. This is where we're gonna lunch from and where we're gonna leave our car. Well, I think we're all packed up so we're ready to go. Kayaking in Tamales Bay. Tamales Bay? Tamales Bay. So far it's super chill. Uh, it's also super warm. We are doing this in late February and it's like 70 degrees. Our plan today was to launch at Chicken Ranch, uh, then kayak up to Marshall Beach and camp there for the night. We've been kayaking now for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, I'll let you know how long it takes to get there. We just pulled off at Kilkenny Beach. Ooh, there's a crab. Dead. Oh, dead, dead crab. We stopped here just for some lunch. Uh, back when we were in town, we picked up some sandwiches from the grocery, so that's what we're gonna eat with some chips. Um, technically, this is a beach that you can camp at. It is really small, so we're not gonna camp here. <laughs> but it is, you are allowed to camp at this beach. Okay, so at the end of the beach, there's like this house. We're just gonna go check out what it is before we keep kayaking. Say something. Yes, we're doing that. <laughs> <coughs> what could it be? <laughs> but it looks like maybe just a rundown house. Hard to tell if anyone still uses this. I think it, someone does own it, yeah. All right, well, that was anticlimactic, but I guess time for us to continue our paddle. Salt water. You know the kayak? Is this fun? Good. We got to Marshall Beach actually really quickly after we left lunch and decided to just keep going. Um, so now we're at this beach called Tamales Beach. Tamal Tamales? How do you say it, Dennis? Tamales Beach. Uh, it's really, really nice. It's big. There are a couple picnic tables. And the crazy thing is we have it all to ourselves. Uh, over here, 
there is a really janky road that comes here but it doesn't look like it gets very much use and right now like literally we are the only people on this beach this hill and we found ourselves in a ranch <laughs> because it's really typical for Point Reyes. Um, I think we interrupted some coyotes trying to kill the cows so I guess you're welcome cows. <laughs> Sorry coyotes. <laughs> the cows. Uh, we watched them for a little bit, but then, oh, a bird. But then just decided to head back to camp. Um, I think we've got like an hour-ish of sun left, hour and a half. So we want to get uh, camp set up and get everything in order. It's now dinner time. We're eating our usual ramen. Unusually though, we forgot our sporks. So we forgot our sporks. So we're improvising and eating with toothbrushes. Okay, so it's 7 p.m. Uh, we just finished our toothbrush dinner and then also we finished brushing our teeth. Now we're just gonna chill out. I think we wanna try to wake up like 6 30 ish so that we can get out of here quickly but yeah all in all i think this is like a miraculously empty beach we were talking about it i don't think we've ever camped anywhere in california where there has been literally nobody around yeah we'll chat with you in the morning Morning. We're just waking up and watching the sunrise. We don't want to stick around too long because we want to make it back relatively early this morning. So we're just going to have a quick bite to eat and then push out, I think. Okay, so my battery is a little lower than I thought. We're just getting started kayaking. I don't think I have enough battery left to do much more filming, so I'll let you know all the details about how to do this when I get back to the car. enough battery back at the car. So now I'm back home and I can tell you a little bit more about how you can do this trip if you're interested. Uh, so first things first, is this worth doing? Um, I think I would say you absolutely should do this. Dennis and I touched on this a little bit while we were camping, but we have never seen such an empty campsite in California. So for that alone, definitely do that. On top of that, it was this amazing beach only an hour from San Francisco. 100% do this. The first thing you're probably thinking about is permits. Yes, you do need permits to do this, but unlike the rest of Point Reyes, boat and permits are a lot easier to obtain than the regular campgrounds. Like a lot of other permits, uh, Point Reyes uh, uses recreation.gov to distribute their permits. Make sure you get one of the boat in campsites. 
What should you take with you when you do this? Well, of course, first you should take your typical backpacking stuff, minus the backpack. So tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, a cook set. Don't forget your sporks. <laughs> uh, like spare change of clothes. Um, but also you're gonna need a kayak, paddle, life jacket, and dry bags. If you do not have that stuff, then you should definitely go to Blue Waters Kayaks. They're located in Point Reyes Station, so it's really easy. They were super helpful getting like the kayaks on and off our car. We already had dry bags, so we only needed a small bag from them, but they had plenty of sizes so that if we didn't have any, all of our stuff would be able to fit into the ones they provided. Oh, and also, even though there are no bears in Point Reyes, you should bring a bear canister. This is because apparently the raccoons in Point Reyes are extremely aggressive. <laughs> we didn't have any problems with raccoons, but when I hear that you need a bear canister to defend your food from raccoons, they must be pretty intense. After we picked up our stuff from Blue Waters Kayaks, got it down to Chicken Ranch Beach, and then loaded them up and started paddling, it was about just before 11 a.m. Pulled off at Kilkenny Beach about an hour and a half later. That's where we had lunch and then kind of saw that little house on the beach. After about a 30 minute lunch break, we got back in. The guys at Blue Waters Kayak suggested that we camp at Marshall Beach since that's the biggest beach. We ended up reaching Marshall Beach at about 2, 2.30 p.m. And we felt like we weren't really done for the day yet, so we kept going. Uh, approximately 45 minutes later, we reached Tamales Beach, which is where we ended up camping. I'm sure you saw in the video, Tamales Beach was amazing and beautiful, and also it definitely was a big beach that had good amenities, so <laughs> I was very happy with Tamales Beach. According to Google, Mar Tamales Beach is about five to six miles from Chicken Ranch Beach. On the way back, we paddled pretty much without stopping, and it took two and a half hours so that should give you an idea and we were facing a headwind pretty much the entire way <laughs> so this is especially a great trip if you really like wildlife i know i did catch some footage of coyotes and cows i don't know if you call cows wildlife but <laughs> but we also saw a bunch of seals which i wasn't fast enough to capture we saw some deers just running along the beach and then a ton of birds if you love birds there are so many beautiful birds in point rays so one last thing to note, you're not supposed to poop in nature in Point Reyes. So Tamales Beach actually did have bathrooms, but a lot of the other beaches that you're allowed to camp at don't. If you find yourself at one of those beaches, you are supposed to have a wag bag with you. Again, Blue Waters Kayaks will sell you one. Um, but if you're really only doing an overnight trip, I think there's other ways that you can avoid using them if that really grosses you out. I hope you found this video useful. If you do end up going beach camping in Point Reyes, let me know. If you've been before or if you've been to one of the other campsites in Point Reyes, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. All right, thanks.